Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you some easy coloring tips with uh, Pro Markers by Letraset. Uh, here are a couple little samples I colored with my markers. This is a digital image just printed with my inkjet printer, and that's from an upcoming set from Lindsay Stamp Stuff. Uh, you can see I have very nice blending, and I just used a few colors for that. Here's a card I made the other day, and um, just used a variety of the trio markers from Letraset. I'll show you an example here. And also the Pro markers. Very easy to use. And I'm going to show you how to use them. Now the first thing I want to do is um, give you some tips here. When you're using alcohol ink uh, markers, such as the Pro markers, you're going to want to use a dye based ink pad. Here I have um, some Memento, and I'm going to use brown just so I have a little bit more of a vintage look. I'm going to make sure my stamp is well inked, and a little trick is to just to tip it towards the light, and if your stamp looks nice and shiny, then you've inked it up really well. This stamp here is um, by the Rubber Cafe. It's one I designed for them a couple years ago. And it's a poppy, and I think it will be really pretty done in the Pro Markers. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry for a few minutes. I usually don't bother to heat set them. If you're worried your ink might smear, you can always heat set them, but I find that to be unnecessary. Another fun thing you can do with the Pro Markers is to simply do a little doodle, a little sketch. Um, this pen is by Letraset, and it came with my Pro Marker set. This is just the um, one of the classic 12 color sets. You have a nice variety of nice, crisp, bright colors here, and it comes with this nice little fine liner. And actually, if you stop by my blog, thefrugalcrafter.wordpress.com, um, anytime between February 28th and um, March 13th, you can sign up to win your very own set of Pro Markers. You can win a set of your choice. I'm just going to draw a little doodle here. Just a, some cherries, I think. You can see how easy it is to sketch with these pens. I'm not going to be too careful. This is just for an example here. You can really have fun with this. And um, in a minute, I'm going to color this in. I'm going to give it a couple minutes just to dry while I work on something else. So I'll set this, that aside. Now I'm going to show you how to blend, and we're going to work on some brass. And if you look at my card sample, hopefully I'm getting this in frame. If you look at the thimble there, um, it was a brass thimble. And I used some green, some orange, some tan, and some brown to get those colors. I'm going to show you how. I think when a lot of people go to blend, they think their colors have to be really similar. And that makes it easy, but you can get really great results and dramatic results by um, using some very contrasting colors. I'm going to use these colors. I have the Pro Markers in Moss, Henna, and Bright Orange. And then I have Trias, which is the same ink as the Pro Marker. It's just um, a different style of marker, also made by Letraset. And I have that in um, Orange 527, which is kind of a tan. And I have the Clear Blender. And you'll see why I'm using the Trias in a minute. I like both of them very much. So to paint this, the first thing I'm going to do is go around the edges. I like to put my darks in first. Um, I'm a watercolor painter, and when I use watercolors, I also like to put my darks in first. It just um, helps me really define my space and get my values right. Value is simply how light or how dark something is. And I'm not really taking too much time. I'm, I'm kind of a quick colorer. I don't like to fuck and fret about it. It's a nice orange. Get that in there. And it may seem like, wow, how is she going to get these colors to blend? They are so, um, so strong, but you'll see. Throw some green in there. You always see a little bit of a patina. You look in the old brass. Now I think I'm going to grab a little yellow too, and I think I'll grab my Tria just because um, it's a little bit more of a soft color. The neat thing about these markers, on one end you have a beautiful springy brush tip. And on the other end, you have a chisel tip. You could do calligraphy if you were so inclined. I'm not very good at calligraphy. But then you've also got a super duper fine tip right after that, which makes the tiniest lines. I'm a scrapbooker too, and I could definitely journal with the fine lines here. All right, I'm going to go over that with the, with the brush end. I'm not really trying to blend. I'm just trying to block in some color really quickly. That would take a little bit more time if I wasn't shooting a video, but this will work just fine. All right, now I'm going to try to unify these colors with my tan. And I'm going into the brush end. 
and I'm going in a little circle, and this is like magic. It is blending my colors together. Now, the neat thing about alcohol ink markers is that if you get them too dark, you can go in with a clear blender and actually lighten them up in spots. It's really neat. I think a lot of people are under the impression that once you put it on paper, it's there for good. It really isn't. You can really uh, mold and model these colors as you go. I want to bring in a little bit more dark before I go into my highlight, so I'm going back in with the henna. And I really like the fine tip. It's like a bullet tip. It's not super fine, but it allows me to um, have good control of my marker. I don't use a chisel tip too much. I really prefer the bullet tip. Uh, I think that's why I really enjoy the tree is because I get the um, bullet tip and I also get a brush tip. All right, now with my blending marker, I will use a chisel tip because I want a nice, firm, um, I want to be able to really push that color around and I don't want to damage my brush or my really fine tip. So if I go through that, I can really add some nice highlights. I hope my hand isn't blocking the light there. You can see how I've put the highlights in. I'm going to just try to get that a little bit closer to the camera and give it time to focus. Um, I still don't have the budget for a camera person, so my camera's on a tripod, a tripod and I'm hoping for the best. Alright, now, just a little bit with my um, yellow. I want to make it a little brassier. Another fun thing you can do is after it's all dry, you can go in with a white ink pen and you can add some really nice bright highlights. Now I was telling you how nice and um, sharp the uh, Tria markers are. I know I'm using the design kit. I'll just show you. It's the um, fashion design kit and it has a super ultra fine tip on it. I'm not sure if they all come with the ultra ultra fine. Some of them have the bullet tips, but you can interchange them. They come with extra or they come with the option of buying extra nibs if you want to customize your marker. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a pro, uh, pro marker in gray. Isn't that gray? That's my blender. Here's gray. I'm going to use a fine tip, and it's easy to tell because the fine tip has a nice pointy end. The barrel is pointed, and I'm going to throw in a little bit of color here on the needles that are in my little needle holder. And then I'm going to use my Tria and um, this kind of yellowish gray. And I'm going to go in with my really fine tip. You got the chisel, but then if you cap that back on, you pull off the little cap. You got this super duper fine tip, and I can go right in there and I can really get into the details. It's really nice if you want to have that option. Um, and you could even go in and add some more subtle shadows onto the needle case, which was brass. We color in the other needles, which are silver. It helps if you have something that you can look at um, to guide what colors you want, but that just gives you an idea of how easy it is to color with the Pro Markers and the Tria Markers. And let's go on to the um, sketch that we did a few seconds ago. We've got our cherries here. Now I'm going to show you a really fun technique, and it's so easy, and it's so quick. And I'm going to go in and just color in my shadows with my bright red Pro Marker. Also, there's another hint and tip that I want to give you. When you get some markers, color them out on an in index card or a chart of some sort so you know what your colors really look like. Because even though the barrel color is close, you don't really know how they're going to react on paper until you actually um, have a little swatch of them. Pro Marker has a downloadable chart that you can print from their website and color in your Pro Markers. Um, since I only have about a dozen of each, I just sketched it out on an index card. And it works great for when I'm trying to figure out what colors I want. All right, I've thrown in a little red there. And actually, I think this one might be a little darker. I might want to go over the edges with that. Yes, let's do that. All right, this one's darker. I'm actually going to put this one at the edges. And you can see you don't have to.